the party is getting started guys before i even show you guys anything just know we got into these two plays very early and the next few weeks next week this week the week after next week all these weeks are going to be big let's get the party started hey guys welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be talking about torchlight energy resources and lukong technology and the next key days for torchlight energy resources and metal materials these next next few days are going to be very big for both Torchlight Energy Resources and LKCO. It's funny how I'm very bullish on these two stocks, these two penny stocks, and the deadline is almost like it's basically happening around the same day. And it's, you know, the days where I believe I'm going to see crazy gains. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell as well. You guys know I've been covering Torchlight Energy Resources and Lukong Technology for a very long time on this channel. I've been updating you guys through the ups and the downs, through, you know, the bearish people and all these stuff that keep coming, the institutions that bought in and all these stuff that keep coming. And, you know, if you want to join a free Discord where we update you guys before I even make any videos, come join. Link in the description below. We talk about stock market and crypto market as well. Now, this video is going to be uploaded on 27 April. I am actually recording this on 26 April because I wanted to make sure I was doing a lot of research before i upload this and i didn't want to upload it last second i wanted to make sure you know my video scheduled my video scheduled like it's up to date i don't want to rush into anything i don't want to make anything messy so i thought i'll schedule this video for tomorrow so uh hopefully you know you guys understand that but yeah torch energy resources is actually you know so close to spiking to two dollars today it actually hit one point one dollar ninety nine it just didn't go to two dollars came back down but as we get closer and closer to the merge day I can see this going $2 easily and I feel as if with the merge announcement we are going to go back to its all time high. Look at this, mark your calendars, Torchal Energy Resources, Torchal Energy Resources an announcement of vote and meeting is confirmed on April 30. Torchlight dividends the deadline is sh shareholders must buy stock before the meeting date. The meeting date is April 30. April 30. So I guess you have to be on, in on um, Torchlight Energy Resources for the dividends before April 30. Remember, I'm not in on Torchlight Energy Resources for the dividends. I take the dividends as a bonus. I'm in on Torchlight Energy Resources for the future of Meta Materials. Remember, after merge with Meta Materials, Meta Materials is going to be NASDAQ compliance. And we're going to be holding Meta Materials, MMAT, after this merge. So I guess if you guys want the dividends rewards as a bonus, you need to be getting in before April 30. Anyone else that got in, like I said, you know, why not get in and then see when the deadline comes out, if you're in or not. You guys are all in. If you're holding Torchland Energy Resources, you are all getting the dividends, including me, if you got in before this special date here. Torch vote and meeting is required to be set before May 10. Torch dividend date is set to be placed right after the meeting. And that is, I guess, when... Um, they tell us how much we're going to be paid for each share. So I can't wait for this one. So look at these. All these dates are very big dates. And they're just, you know, they're all here. This week, next week, the week after. This week, first week, second week. It's like saying, you know, first week, boom. Second week, boom. Third week, boom. The next few weeks are going to be big. So mark your calendars. I'm saying it now. We're in for a good run. Don't sleep on Total Energy Resources. It's just going to get started and it's going to blow up. The stock market is recovering as well. It's going very bullish. So I can see Total Energy Resources going up a lot more. Very good that the stock market has finally decided to recover in the right time. Like I said, the power of holding. Holding long term equals nice gains. We didn't sell out panics, you know, these panic moments. We didn't sell, we hold, we held, and now we're back up. And I just want to say, at this big time, finally, the stock market is bullish again. Now, with Lukong Technology, we're going to move on to this. So, LKCO, you guys can see here, is up more than 17%. It actually went up even more today. So, you guys can see it hit 1.36 and then came back down to 1.2 and then came back up. And it's finally good. We had a nice run up. We went up more than 20% today, yesterday. And I feel as if we could possibly see a spike to $2. You know when I told you guys how every time Lucon Technology goes below $1, we have a nice spike. This is a now. This is where I believe we're having a spike again. So we might see $2 again this week. But you guys need to know, in just under 7 days from when you're watching this video, we're going to be given that preliminary injunction. Well, that's what I believe. You tell me what you believe. Everything is done. 2nd of May, uh, April, we gave a motion for preliminary injunction. 16th of April, the defendants responded to LKCO, 23rd of April, Liu Kong Technology came back at the defendants and said, you know, their reasoning and everything and destroy the defendants. The next key date is May 3rd, which is next Monday coming. But obviously for the people in UK like me, it's going to be Tuesday. And I just want to say it's good because April 2nd and April 16th and April 23rd, they were all on Friday, right? So we couldn't see the stock market react to the news that came out with the court stuff. And on top of that, like, 
the market was in a bearish place like it was just down the market was down big time overall but now that the market recovered and we're going to get the news on the day that the markets open and it's not even on a sell-off day it's not on a friday we're going to get the news on a monday you know for people that are you know eastern time and for the uk it's going to be on a tuesday tuesday morning so we're going to see nice movement if we get that preliminary injunction on basically tuesday and i can't wait guys Get ready, Lukong Technology next week is going to be big, especially Torchlight and resources as well. Both these make or break. Let's go. Big key dates coming and we're just getting started. See you guys in my next video. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Don't even forget, Lukong Technology have big, big, big institutions buying in. Do you want to look at the institutions one more time? Let's look at the institutions, all right? Let's quickly look at the institutions before we end the video. LKCO institutions, come on out. Where are you? Finto. There we go click on fintail hopefully it's not down we can we're gonna see yeah look at these uh wait that's not even where is it where is it come on lkco institutional ownership there we go so look at this nasdaq composite bought 160,000 shares when we're still in this ban on 23rd april 19 april true and wealth bought more than 67,000 shares dfa investment bought more than 4 million shares as well altogether recently last month this month, straight after the defendants gave their response, Triton Wealth, Nasdaq bought a lot of shares. Why? They believe defendants went in weak. Now, we wait for May 3rd. I can't wait. Make or break. Let's go. We're just getting started. And we're in it early. And I know who the OGs are, alright? I know who they are. By the way, my name's ODR. Please do your own damn research. None of this was financial advice. I'm just giving you guys my own research, my own due diligence, my own opinion, my own take. Please do your own damn research and give me your own take on this as well. Let's go! So, yeah. What are you guys going to do? Are you going to keep watching this video over and over again? Are you going to keep panicking? You didn't do enough research. Come on, Liu Kong Technology family, Total Energy Resources family. Like I said, we're in it early. While we're in it early, we're taking that extra risk with LKCO. And with us taking the extra risk, will reward us more if we get that preliminary injunction next week. With Torchlight Energy Resources, there's no risk. The fundamentals are still the same. The catalysts are still the same. You're still getting your extra dividends for free as a bonus for holding Torchlight Energy Resources before they merge with Metamaterials. Now, it's time for you to do your own research and buy in after you tell me what you strongly believe in. Holders, long-term holders, everyone, I think it's time we spike and it's our moment to shine. It's our moment we take over and it's our moment to finally land. Where? You tell me. I, I'll see you in a Tesla next week. Let's see what happens. Let's just hope the judge gives us that preliminary injunction. I'm not worried about torch right now. But yeah, let's see. See you guys later.